Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee, and today I am back with um, day four of Off the Board with Pineapple Papers, and it is a hop where we are going to our Pinterest boards and pulling inspiration. So, um, today is Thursday, so today's prompt is texture, because each day has something different to include. So, I found this layout on one of my Pinterest boards, and it is super cute, and they pop things up and all that, um, but it does not say who created the layout. I'll post a picture of it, but it is from Altenew. It's on, like, their ad that's on Pinterest for uh, some of their wood veneer. So, I'm not sure who created it, but I'm probably someone on the Altenew design team but today I am I really love the colors in it and how they did it so I kind of wanted to do the same thing um, and scrap lift it and I am going to use Paige Evans um, this is the Splendid collection and I've got this huge pad 48 sheets for $6.99 at Tuesday morning y'all like I've used this a lot, but this was a super good deal. It's so sad that Tuesday morning's gone and we don't have that anymore. But, um, so I created all these hearts from a sheet. I'll pop it up on the screen so you can see it. Um, and which was a great way to use it because I didn't think I would use that sheet really. So, um, I'm glad I was able to use it. I used a die cut. I used these two little heart die cuts from my stash. And this one actually cuts through. So it is um, actually textured. So that's kind of where I pulled my texture um, from. And then I just went in after I cut these out and I backed them on white cardstock. And I just temporary adhesive them on there um, with this um, tape runner someone gifted me. And um, just put them on there. Then, to add to the texture idea, um, I took and stuck them all to zip strips that I had in my can that wasn't anything important or just white ones or whatever. And stuck them down, and then I run them through my sewing machine. Now, it makes it so much easier if you take um, a zip strip. If you have something small like this, and you're going to need to run a bunch through your sewing machine if you want to sew them. This would even work if you were hand stitching them. But just put a little bit of dotted glue or a little bit of temporary adhesive or whatever. And just put them all down through here. Just leave a tiny bit of space in between and then all you got to do is take this strip and run it all through your machine because it saves a lot of time and hassle and having to stop cut the string start again and all that you can just run one strip after another through so that's just a little extra tip of <laughs> what I did um, okay so then I cut out alphabets with uh, this die set and I have like, I think two alphabet sets and I'm terrible about using them. So I thought, you know what, when I was looking through and finding my hearts, I saw these and I thought I'm going to use these. So I cut out my title um, from this. Oh, and I wanted to show y'all, I cut these out with those dies. And this was the piece of paper. And so then you are left with all of these little heart die cuts and I alternated like I did big little big little big little but you could totally put this on I'm gonna reuse these so I'm keeping them because y'all know I like to keep stuff anyways but you could totally put this on a piece of white cardstock glue them back down and have a whole new whole new background paper or you could put a different color in each heart like glue to the back you could take the zip strips or just um scrap cardstock and put a different color in each one and create a whole different thing so i'm saving these y'all see them coming up but 
that's just another whole page bang for your buck out of one sheet of paper. So, I am going to use this one as my base to kind of mimic what they did. And I have these pictures of my grand girls, my oldest ones, um, coloring and showing off their work. And Lainey was, is obsessed with Baby Yoda, so she was um, showing him how to color. <laughs> um, okay, but... Oh, and I have this swap piece that I'm going to use. And Kimberly Litton created this. So, it's going to work out great. Um, so, to add to the texture theme and to kind of make my heart show up, because this is a lot of color. Like, I wanted it to show up. That's why I backed them in white. I backed my photos in white. I'm going to just take some white acrylic paint and a paintbrush and just kind of put it on down the center where my hearts are going to go just so they kind of just, it makes them stand out. So, I have a piece of acetate here and I'm just going to pour some of my paint on it. Hopefully without making a mess because my paintbrush is too wide to get down in the bottle. So... I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush. And this is just a big old plain paintbrush Dollar Tree. Okay, I'm going to move this over off my page. And I'm just going to brush it down. Now, I don't want it to be perfect. I want it to be a little bit more in places so that it's kind of just fading out. But kind of covering up the colors in the middle so that the hearts really shine. And this adds just another layer of texture to it. I have been having fun playing with this. I know I say that every video, but I really have. And um, it's helped me think outside the box and to do some other things because, you know, I'm very much, I love all the different techniques and ways of showing things, but um, I don't always do them. I put them on my board and then I just kind of forget about them because there's so many things to do, right? So this is just a few little simple ways to add in everything else. Okay, and I don't have a paper towel nearby, of course. Okay, so this is pretty much already dry. Actually, I'm going to pause and go wash my brush and take care of this paint because I know if I don't, I'm going to wind up sticking my arm in it. So I will be right back. All right, I am back, and I apologize for the extra noise my air just kicked on, and it's pretty loud. So, before I wash my paint off, I did spray and water it down just a tad, and did some splattering with the paintbrush, a smaller paintbrush, um, just to give it, you know, the messy paint look. And overall, I like that. So, I think next I'm just going to add my photos, and this is pretty dry other than a few of the splatters because it dries fairly quickly. Oh, my needle's, ow, my needle's stuck in my glue and I just stabbed myself getting it out. <laughs> Scrapbooking is dangerous. Okay. Different than the inspiration layout because 
my pictures were bigger they were four by six and I just cut them down to be able to use them and then I'm kind of just gonna go this isn't rainbow order the colors are in but I'm kind of just gonna go along with the colors that's showing here and put my hearts in so I'm just gonna build it up so I'm gonna start with blue and I kind of have them somewhat sorted. <laughs> Not really. It's so hot outside, y'all. My air is literally, it's set to, I think it's on 70. But once it reaches that, it comes back on. But as soon as it cuts off, it's cutting right back on. We've been having like 100, 100 degree days, like Fahrenheit. 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Because I know a lot of y'all are on Celsius, but... It has been hot. Okay, I'm just gonna add in some blue and then I'm gonna go in with my green. Let's see here. Put this one on first since it has some um, blue in it. could totally go back in and pop some of these up on foam tape um, if I wanted to. I can bend the little hearts up just to give them a little bit of dimension if I want to. Um, but I feel like it's a lot already so I'm happy with how it is. I might put one or two of them on foam tape. There was lots of orange on here, and it kind of goes a little bit lighter, so I'm going to go with dark first. This one was a really easy layout. The most time-consuming part of it was just taking in die cut and everything so I'm just turning my heart some of them I'm turning um, one way and some of them I'm tilting a different way just so they're different and everything don't look the same I have some extra hearts left over so I can use on a different project that I didn't need. A lot of the multi-color looking ones. Um, let's see. And then it's purple. And there wasn't a lot of purple. Actually, this was the only one that was actually solid purple. So, I just added a little bit of the other ones in that was like white with some of the colors in it. And a few of the multi ones just to fill it out. And then pink is the rest. So let's do this big one. And this big one. Oh, don't want to do it there. Let's do it up here. Because this one's kind of the same pattern, just a little bit smaller. this 
this one in the center on foam tape. Except I'm out of foam tape, so I'm up still using these dots, and they're not very sticky, if I'm being honest. So I've been adding glue to them. tall dots too so they are really dimensional I don't know why I just wanted to add that one there since it has all the colors and it kind of I don't know I don't know I just can't explain it that's what my brain wants to do so, I have my title cut out, and it says Little Artist, and I am going to glue that on, and I will come back. Alright, so I glued the title on. All that's left is this, and I want to put it here. So, I just put some foam on it to help pop it up. I'm going to glue it on. And then I will be done. I really like how this turned out. This is not my ordinary style, as y'all know. This is a lot of color. <laughs> but I think I succeeded in being a textured, um, doing a textured project. So, I don't know if you can tell, but... It's very dimensional, lots of textures, layers. So, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Go check out the playlist below of everyone else playing along. And until next time, bye, y'all.